Hey. Hello everybody, welcome to the first match of the World Cup. So, um, let's get the ref. Um, Spartaco, it's Spartaco versus Noamto. Al, Al Bundy is Noamto on Twitch. Um, Spartaco has been ranked number one in the world in, uh, in NAF tabletop. But, um, Noamto, Al, shall I call him Noamto Al Bundy? Al Bundy has humans, and I think humans are just a great choice in this format. Three dice with tackles, straight up. Um, yeah, you know, they, they've just got, they've got so much guard, and they've got the sure hands, and he's, he's gone block sure, he's gone block on his throw, which makes him even better against, against Wood Elves, and he's just got a cows instantly, um, Spartaco, Spartaco has a bribe, he doesn't have the apple, he's gone, he's gone for two rerolls, so, um, yeah, he has the tackle ability, yeah, I think humans are the best team. I really, honestly do think they're the best team in game one. Um, now, they will they will go down a little bit after that, but I think game one are the best. Um, <laughs> Clearly right team. Oh, Shira, Shira, Shira was violent enough, wasn't it? Oh, unlucky, t unlucky take root. Um, I guess he didn't use the stand firm, so he, he could detach himself from from the getting too deep by the ogre. But um, I don't know. I would have maybe stood still there. And... Oh, fail the dodge. So it was a three plus. But he's used his reroll. I guess he's going for the ball hit because this is probably going to be his best chance, isn't it? There's no, there's no cage and no tackle next to him. Um, so that was a bit going for the three plus two plus. He, maybe he was thinking of going for the sack, but then obviously using the reroll, he hasn't. But surprised he used the reroll there, really, actually, because you know that kind of stopped him going for the sack, didn't it? Haven't used the reroll, meant that he couldn't go for the sack. Um, interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do as much of the World Cup as I can. Uh, uh, Guinness. Yeah, yeah, interesting, isn't it? Maybe he didn't think it through before he made the dodge, um, and then once he had done it, you know, he only had 15 seconds, didn't he? That, that is the problem with the interface in in Blood Bowl Two for sure. Um, right. Okay, I'm still saving a movie here in Movie Maker. It says the video is private that I've just uploaded to YouTube, but it shouldn't. Oh wow, sent off. Sent off, bribe no good, triple one. A true Jim Fowl there. <laughs> That's a Jim Fowl if ever I've seen it. Wouldn't have wouldn't have fouled unless he had the bribe, and then it resulted in abject failure. So <laughs> yeah, there you go. Right, I should really I should really tweet or something, and I've gone live now, but. Uh, you know, I'll be putting this on YouTube. I'm, I'm going to try and cover as many games as I can live. And if I don't cover them live, I'll do the replays. Um, I'm trying to get this replay done before the, the you know the match that I know starting starts. So, you know, hopefully there's time to do it. Now. And I thought since it's the first game of the World Cup, you know, get it covered. So yeah, now now see the problem is now he's tree stranded, isn't he? If he if he had stood firm. He would have at least, although he might have got knocked over by the ogre, obviously 75%, probably. At least you'd be occupying him now the, now with him rooting. He's not going to be much of an effect, he's not going to have much of a, an effect, is he? On the, on the player here. <laughs> Hello, no. Yeah, you like frenzy as a choice. I think frenzy's frenzy's. Well, I mean, I've I've already done I've already done my predictions, which um, 
I believe this was. I've just made this video. I've just. I'm saving the video for the prediction for this. Um, as 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 it's finished. So I did make my video first. Um, so no spoilers, please, no ammo. But I did make my video and I did predict Spartaco as the winner of this, despite despite I think have the humans having the better team, just because I think you know Spartaco is really good, and uh, I did predict Spartaco. Um, you know he's he's a he's a very good coach, isn't he? I do think it's a, a rough matchup, game one against humans for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't know the the frenzy. The frenzy's kind of good because it's never dead, is it? It's never. No, I didn't know what was happening. No, I'm I didn't know what was happening. Um, I have I've got a list of all of the games that people have said are happening. And I, I didn't, I didn't see this. If, if, if you posted it in the official Discord, I didn't see it. And um, so, you know, I've just been going off the official Discord. So maybe I didn't see it, and maybe you didn't post it in there. But um, I didn't see it when it was live. So um, yeah, the frenzy's never dead. Unlike that wrestle lineman, yeah. <laughs> he got banged on, didn't he? So, so two cars in the first three turns. I mean, it's a touch unlucky. But, um, you know, also, Noam Do could have got a Kaz with a foul anyway. You know, so. Yeah, I've, I've, I've just been going off what's been posted in the official Discord. So, yeah, they started just unannounced Hellboy, basically. Um, I, 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 didn't know, I didn't know this match was happening. But I've been doing my prediction videos, trying to get them done before the, what I thought would be the first match, which is in half an hour. Um, so I have predicted this match. But, um, oh God, here we go again. <laughs> um, the World Cup is res, yeah. The World Cup is res. Um, <laughs> well, he's certainly got unlucky, hasn't he? Now, this isn't this isn't insulting Noamdo to say he's got unlucky, but he's taken two cars in the first three turns. <laughs> that's, that's pretty unlucky, isn't it? You know. Um, whichever way you look at it, you know that uh, most of these games are pretty close in teams, pretty close in coaching skill, and a lot of them are going to be decided by the dice. And that's not a slight on anybody. It's not taking away anything from anyone who wins it's just the way it is isn't it if the coach skill is is close and the team builds are close luck is going to be a big factor in a lot of the games but, but now what what i found from my game and why i went wood elves rather than humans my game against ducky i uh, now obviously ducky's very good i cast one of his dancers early and he still made it made me roll dice to score both touchdowns and I wasn't comfortable having to roll one in nines to score. So, <laughs> that is why I went Woody, Woody's instead of Humans. But uh, I do think Humans are maybe the strongest team game one. <laughs> yes, Azunga, that, that was a joke when I said you were shit for losing the toss. And, uh, yeah, pretty, like, look, really bad players lose more players than good players, for sure. Um, so you know, like in the long in the long run, a, a bad player will take more cars than a good player. But in an, in an individual match, the actual cars are pretty random, aren't they? And you know, once once you've got the point where both players are co both coaches are good, um, then then real realistically, th this is just random. Sure, he's armor seven and he's armor eight and stuff like this, but. Really, the cars the cars are going to be pr are pretty random. It's long term. I will take less cars than random forty percent win rate guy in ladder. But in any in any given match, it's it's just dice, isn't it? That you know you can and occasionally you can mitigate it because sometimes sometimes the cars will come from stupid basing or stupid dodging or whatever. But most of the time, the cars are just random. Right? Yeah, and maybe I should have gone humans, especially as I got dwarves. I mean, the good thing about humans is there's no real bad matchups. I don't think in the first round. Maybe, arguably, lizardmen. But um, 
That was a bit sloppy, wasn't it? See, that was a bit sloppy for Norm to give the, let the tree get back into it. Um, I don't know if he got chained into that or whatever, but either way, it was a bit sloppy to, to let the tree get a block, wasn't it? The Sprinter versus Butuppi, yeah. Hello, Haring Zord. I'm gonna try and cover as many as I can. So there's already two on at the same time. So I'll be covering probably the first one, and uh, we'll just see what happens. To be honest, mate, I'll I'll try and I'll do as much as I can. Went Ross versus Zord is on at the same time as Sprinter versus Butuppi, so um, I'll probably do Went Ross versus Zord live and then do the replay of the other. I'm going to do replays of all the, all the ones that I don't cover live, I'll do the replays. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah I, I couldn't, I couldn't have lived with, eliminated by Edge 3, you know, it's really bad, isn't it? This is a base cage, but he's got plenty of guard on it, hasn't he? Um, double one there, but it was very risky, because although he's got guard, he had the opportunity to block the guard away, didn't he? And get a 2D on the ball, so that was, uh, that was that was actually sloppy. The other side is all right with this guard and the ogre. This side is, is fine. I think that this side was based, but this side was a bit uh, very risky, wasn't it? Um, but yeah, that's that's the problem, isn't it? Humans, they've got to roll die. Like even with two cars here, okay, they've taken one, but they've made two cars and they're having to keep the keep the cage base to get forward. And uh, although they are good, what else are just the best? <laughs> that's, that's the thing, isn't it? Although human, it's this is a good rule set for humans. What else are just the best team? So the good thing is that oh, that's not guard. I was going to say the good thing is the guard stopped them getting one dice. Oh wow, not a good time for a lone and double score. So this is a one dicer here, isn't it? Easy one dicer, but it's only a four plus. And he's got frenzy, so he'll do a he'll do a four plus. He'll do a he'll do a one or into an uphill, will he? I oh, know he's got he's he's gonna counter there. Okay. Oh, roll the one. Yeah, I, he didn't have to do that. This guy could have come round. That was a bit greedy there, ignoring threat. He didn't need to roll that dice. Uh, I think you could definitely say that was a mistake from, from Spartaco there. You know, when, when, when you're making one dice blocks on the carrier, that's a bit greedy, isn't it? Nah, it's hard to call it a mistake, but he, was, he, was, he, was high, he went high risk, high reward, didn't he? Giving himself an extra two plus. But then with the potential payoff of scoring. Maybe on turn seven he should have been happy with just scoring, just stopping the score. Stripper no good of course, because because uh, human throwers have sure hands. So I don't think it'd have been a much better player really. Having two one dice chances to get the ball is better than one one dice chance. To, one one dice chance to get the ball. Uh, but there you go. Yeah. So, Noamto was able to uh, make a bit of a greedy, a bit of a greedy block. Oh no, it wasn't. It wasn't with the ogre. It was with the ogre. That's fine. Right. So there you go. He gets the. He had the rewards. So that was a one in twelve nine six. That was all. That was my. That was my block. Yeah, winning would have been a pretty nice reward. Yeah, Brown Meister. Um, it was high risk, high reward, wasn't it? Glorious. It's coming home, Jimmy. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ali Yeti. Thanks for staying fantastic. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. All right. Sorry, I'm all I'm a bit I'm, I'm a bit swamped here because I've been making YouTube videos and everything and uploading them and then this happened with unexpectedly this match. Um, so obviously Naruto has got to set up to try and stop the one turner here. Um, 
yeah, using the using the auger on his own, and then the the guards here. This could be a, a tree man blitz into a hole method. Um, oh no! Oh no! He's, he's filled this. He can just you can just chain that guy. Oh, oh yeah. Maybe maybe no. Amdo should have had this guy not there. Should have had this guy not here. Is what he should have had. And then it would have had to be a blitz from the tree, but you let him get the first push by making the block. So that was uh, that was a big mistake having that guy there, giving him the chain. So he's even got his blitz free now. No uh, sparkle. But he's rolled a pow, has to re-roll it. Only needs two pushes. Ooh, what's that? What's that move? Um, I don't like that because if he got a pow, he's oh, it's because he's got he's got frenzy. But if he'd rolled a pow on the first block, he's in three tackle zones. I I really don't like it. Just to get him one square forward, I I don't like that. I know the reroll was gone, but um, it was pretty risky there. To be honest, and yeah, yeah, that was a big mistake, big mistake. Uh, from after, yeah, that was a not a good one-turn defense. So one-one, and now Chase can and we'll look from Sparkle. So he's down to nine, but nine isn't that bad for Woody's, is it? And the humans are down to ten. So you know this. This is this is this is why this is again why I went woodies. You know, Luke, them being a man down isn't that bad. Humans being a man down would be pretty bad. Orcs being a man down would be terrible. So you know. Now full backfield. I just think he could have done a better non. Just a better a better defence than what he did. I I think obviously he thought that was better than a back line, but you could have done something better than a back line. You know? But not that, yeah, but should have just backlined it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jehanian. Yeah, it was that was not good, was it? Um it's on the chance of Discord. It's I've got I've you can do exclamation point calendar. I've got a calendar there. Um of most of them, um, so that's most of the. It's not every World Cup match because some are a bit different. Um, so some haven't been announced, and um, you know. But on one of them, is, one of them is my rebel match. But, you know. I had two extra pushes there with the kids. I only had one extra push in there. <laughs> is this live? Yes, Bernie, it is. Um, okay. Right, so Spark calls 1 1. If he stalls this out, he wins, doesn't he? So, see, this is why I like kicking with, with Wood Elves because, you know, although, although Inarian likes his go for score early and then turn over and score again. I think if you if you kick as Wood Elves, you know ooh, double one on the pickle. Um now could he have done another safe move? You know? And maybe he could have covered this ball a bit better. maybe he's had the catcher here picked up with a dancer or something. So, you know, you gotta think that although it was, although it was unlucky to double one the pickup, I mean he had four re-rolls, but uh maybe he could have covered it better. Um yeah, it's uh... <laughs> yeah, it was a strong meme entrance from Burn. Yeah, this this surprised me this game because it wasn't it wasn't stated um, on the like scheduling th thread in the Discord. But yeah, he's he's left himself under pressure there, hasn't he? Spot. But yeah, anyway, this is what I like about Wood Elves kicking is that you know what you have to do on offense. Yeah, you know, so like. If if Spartacode scored, 
one and at the end at the end then being one nil up, he could have just scored early and been two nil up. So, but now because it's one one, he knows that if he stalls the half, he wins. Whereas, I just feel like Inarian's strategy of scoring early can sometimes backfire. And I, I hate to just talk about Inarian every time Woodells are on, so I won't. But um, that's why I like kicking anyway with Woodells, just so you know what you have to do on offense. So he's hitting with a stripper rather than a frenzy. Makes sense. Didn't follow. Because I guess he didn't want to follow into the tackler. Which also makes sense. Got a lucky little bounce there, didn't he? Catching it with a, uh, catching it with a frenzy dancer. Has to tag the tackler, even though obviously you really don't want your tackler. You really don't want your dancer to tag a tackler. He had to. Smart move, yeah, smart move catching with a lot of answer. <laughs> Hello Yaxter. Hello everybody. Sorry I'm I'm having to ignore chat a little bit just because just because I was behind on this and I was completely surprised by this starting. Um, I'm a little bit flustered. Inarian did not make a World Cup. Um, <laughs> Strippers. Yes, strip ball. Yeah. I've got no idea again. It's probably the second one, seeing as, you know, I've got it, I'm doing this, the replay of it. I would have rather casted Wenteros versus Zola, the Woodhouse Mirror, but I guess it's going to be Sprinter versus Buttigieg just due to, the, due to this one being on now. Yeah, this 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 surprised me. I was I meant I meant to start later than this. Oh wow, wow! Both down into double skulls. That's brutal, isn't it? But that's the that's the thing in it. The guard from the humans, the frenzy from the from the wood elves, all worked against him there, didn't it? The tackle was locked down the other dancer, and this is just. Humans being a good team and bad dice for Spartaco and maybe a little bit bad decisions but when, when he picked it up, although, although he was screwed by a 1 in 36, you know, maybe he should have thought about that. So, um, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he's double one. He's one in 36 on the pickup. He's one in 81 on the blitz there. But, you know, ultimately, um, he probably should have made the pickup safer. You know, he'd probably be kicking himself for that. But obviously, he's had bad dice. I don't want to offend anybody by saying that, but I think he's definitely had. Some bad dice this game. I like the move just to, to foul the uh, dancer. I I like fouling when you're happy with a send, a stun for a send off, and I think uh, Al Bundy would have been happy with a send off for a stun there. Uh, he's got his tackle in a decent spot there, containing the catcher there. Yeah, yeah. I, f I feel I feel Spartaco should have should you know he could have played safer. He could have screened off the ball before he picked it up. And while he wasn't expecting the one in thirty six, he's paid for it, hasn't he? Yeah, he rolls a one there. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's he's one in thirty in three turns. He's one in thirty six, one in eighty one, and one in thirty six. So you know, he's uh, he's. He's getting some bad dice for sure, but ultimately, some of it is his own making. I think could have played a bit safer on the pickle, but yeah, he's getting he's, <laughs> he's get, definitely getting smashed by the dice. Um,
<laughs> this could be me in the World Cup. Yeah. 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 But you know, look, it's um, probably every 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 turn could be played better by everybody in every game, couldn't it? Um, you know, there's a lot of pressure on, isn't there, and everything. And obviously, he's he's pretty high at this point in in time, having a huge stun there, so that he couldn't get the uh, couldn't get the assist in, wasn't it? Like, I know it happened from the GFI fail, but. That that kept him not having to protect, not having to cage it properly. Did he? But he gets the one dice hit, and it's in two tackles on. So he, he still keeps giving himself a chance, Fabrico, doesn't he? Why push there? Yeah, you would have thought he'd have pushed down, wouldn't he? Um, interesting. He just goes for the straight four plus pick up of the guard and this guy. Hand off. Oh, there's another one. Oh, man. You can't, you can't catch a break. <laughs> you just roll a two plus he'd have been away. And it's one one. So <laughs> you would have got the win. Oh, man. A straight into a guy getting cast. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I think we're getting to the point where... It's starting to look like a dicing now, isn't it? I think. Uh... <laughs> um, yeah, wow. That's. Uh... Oh my god! Wait, I think oh, we're definitely getting yeah. into into dice territory now. You. Yeah, that's ah. um, <laughs> four Kaz, a KO, a million ones. Every crucial action he's failed. Um, this half. Yeah, and he's still got a one dicer. And he, the strip is active due to him not being on the thrower. So, I mean, failing this is fair because it's a straight four plus and he hasn't got his rerolls anymore. Like, he, he, at this point, after he's been completely diced to death, um, <laughs> he can't complain about failing that pickup because it was only a 50 50 no reroll. But he can certainly complain about how the fact that he got to no rerolls by failing one in 36s and one in 81s and by keep getting the chances. Yeah. Is this the, the sort of throw? He's got the throw back anyway. To have strip, to have protection against strip, he's got an eye cage, so he can only get one dice on him. It's a random pal. <laughs> Into an AV break. <laughs> yep. Well, now it looks safe, doesn't it? After all that. Holy moly! Holy moly! That is absolutely crazy. Yeah, it looks like it might be able to cast the win last game, yeah. It's looking like, isn't it? <laughs> Rolls a one. <laughs> what a surprise! <laughs> Shock news just in. Spartaco rolls a one. <laughs> and then and then Al Bundy makes a removal. <laughs> See, this is how I feel my game's gonna go. This is just this is just the feeling that I have how my game's gonna go. So there you go. The guy who I thought was the best coach in the last World Cup, um, arguably, arguably the best coach in this World Cup, has 
just been diced to oblivion and uh, you know it's it's not taking anything away from from Al Bundy to say that because at the end of the day somebody else could have played that match and still not won but um, yeah that's uh, that's brutal isn't it that is absolutely brutal. I mean, if you know, if he still had every chance at the end of the day, even despite all those cars, despite all those cars, if he had rolled just some two pluses, he'd have still won. You know? <laughs> oh no, Bernie, no, not by a long shot. <laughs> it's not even enough, no. It's not even enough, no. Uh, Spartaco has been world number one in NAF. Um, in the NAF tabletop, but he has not, uh, he has not won this game. It's just one game, look, any, anything can happen in one game. Can. And as this game has proved, <laughs> you know, no one's crap in, in the World Cup. Uh, so, you know, I did say, I did say the dice were probably gonna, probably gonna decide most of the games, and... Yeah, there you go. Like, if if the dice had been reversed, Spartaco would have won, and and that's it, isn't it? At the end of the day, I think I think I think Al Bundy would agree that if the dice were reversed, Spartaco would have won, and uh, eighty-seven percent poor. But still, there were still things he could have done better. He could definitely have screened it before he went for the pickup. So you know, despite despite that half being ridiculous. He he knew when he went for that pickup, if he won in thirty sixty, he'd be under a lot of pressure, and he he could have played it differently. And 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 if Spartaco is the kind of guy who who that I am, <laughs> and how I think most people who are good are, that he'll just take away that you know he should have he should have protected the ball better there when he went for that pickup, you know, and, and he will look with regret at that play thinking he should have covered the ball before he picked it up, or at least strengthened a screen before he played the pickup. But also, he's got to be realistic and say he was diced to death. That was an absolutely horrific game for him. And uh, But yeah, well done to Al Bundy, Noanto, on the win. Uh, def definitely, you know, still you still got still to play well enough to win despite the dice. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.